Outlook's task management feature can help you stay organized and productive. In this video, we will see how to create and manage tasks in Outlook, how to assign tasks to someone, how to create recurring tasks with two different recurring options, how to create a task from an email, how to create tasks from OneNote, and how to create and manage tasks on an iPhone or any other mobile device. Outlook has released a new version and it is asking users to switch to it. However, the new version is not stable yet. Recently, I noticed it is trying to push users to use to do instead of the tasks. When you are in the Outlook mail window and want to create a new task with this new items option, it opens the new to do creation window. If you do not see the tasks icon here, click on this more apps icon and right click on tasks and select the pin option. Now you see the outlook task on the left sidebar. Here I have all my tasks. To add a new task, I'll click on this new task option. Now I'll add a name for the task. I can select a start date and I can select a due date. I'll save the task. In the task list, I can see the newly created task. I can change the status of the task here. If you mark the status completed, it will strike through the text. So you can quickly understand that the task has been done and you do not need to look at it again. If your tasks list look different, then you can change the view. Navigate to the view menu and select the reading pan option here. Here you can select a view you like. You can create a recurring task in Outlook. To do so, select this recurrence option. Select the recurrence pattern. You can select daily, weekly, monthly or yearly. I will select weekly and the day is Monday. I will uncheck this Sunday option. Now I will see these tasks for every Monday. I do not need to create the same task again and again. It has another option if you want to regenerate a new task for every 7 days of the due date after the task is completed. In this case, it will complete the task once you check it as completed and then create a new task with a due date after 7 days, starting from the day when you check the task as completed. I will create two tasks with these two options so that you understand the difference. Below, you can define a range when you want to stop the recurrence. You can select a date, you can select a number after which the recurrence will be stopped or you can make the recurring task with no end date. Now I will save this task. Now I will create a recurring task with the regenerate option. Here I will select recurrence and this time I will select this second option. Regenerate new task one week after each task is completed. I will click on OK and I will save the task. Here you can see in my tasks list, these are the newly created recurring tasks with two different options. For the recurring task, you will see the recurring icon on the task list. This is the normal recurring task and the due date is 3rd of June. When I mark it as completed, it creates a new task for 10th June. And when I mark it as completed again, it creates a new task for 17th June. This was the normal weekly recurring task. The task you see here at the top has been created with the second option, regenerate new tasks based on the date when it is completed. In this case, you see the due date is 2nd June and when I mark it as completed, it create a new task for 9th June and again when I mark it as completed, it created the same task for 9th June. It calculates the weekly gap for the new task starting from today when you mark it as completed. Unlike the other recurrence option where we saw it created new recurring tasks in a gap of one week. It doesn't matter when the task was completed. Now let's see how to assign a task to someone. When you create a new task, you have the option to assign task. Here you get the option to send the task to a team member. I'll select due date. Below, you have the option to keep a copy of the task on your task list. With the second option, you will get a status report when the other person marks the task as completed. For the assigned task, you will see the profile icon on the task. To create a task from an email, select the email and hold the mouse button. Now drag it over to the task icon on the left sidebar and leave the mouse button. Now you will see this task window with the details from the email. The email subject will be the task name and you can update it. Now select a due date. 
you can assign it to someone or make it as a recurring task and save the task. On our task list, you can see the newly created tasks from the email. Now let's see how to create a task using Microsoft OneNote. On OneNote, select the text for which you want to create a task. Now select the Outlook task option here on the ribbon. Here select today, tomorrow, this week, next week, no date or you can select a custom date. When you create a task for a text on OneNote, you will see the flag icon before the text. On my Outlook task list, I can see the task created from OneNote. When you create a task on OneNote, you can mark it as complete on OneNote. It will reflect immediately on the Outlook tasks list. When I mark it as completed, you see the task has been completed here. Let's try it again. I'll create another task. I'll select Outlook task for this week. Now you see the newly created task from OneNote execute launch plan and I'll mark it as complete. And immediately on my Outlook task, I can see the task has been marked as completed. Let's create another task on OneNote. This is the task I created on OneNote. When I mark it as completed here, I do not see the changes here on the OneNote page immediately. I need to wait for a little to see the changes. I tried with this multiple times and I found it takes a little bit. Now you see the task has been completed on the OneNote page. To manage your tasks on iPhone or other mobile device, you need to install the Microsoft To-Do application. Here, you can create a new task. It doesn't have the option to assign a task to someone on the mobile application. It works as a personal to-do list, although you can view the task on Outlook application created from the mobile application. You can mark a task as completed and all the changes will be reflected on the Outlook task list. That's the end of the video. If you find this helpful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.